Okay, this is the Zoji. I'm going to show you how I make these style transfer videos. Pretty easy. First of all, we first get the start frames. So these are just the frames of the beginning of every scene. And I've already set all those out. You can use those to automatically make all of these EVSynth templates. Let me show this whole thing. It's EVSynth templates that show off each one of these um, for each keyframe. And these keyframes are chosen by me, but you can choose your own. And it's just a single frame for each scene. And you just choose one where it's showing the most expression and most of the body. Similar to how um, the Joel Haver ones work. So you usually want to have the mouth open if you're going to be drawing over it. And then these are the actual frames of the entire animation here. And those you put as the video. You well, first set the project directory. The rest of this is already preset with all the keyframes I chose. And they're all going to be included in the zip file. No audio though. And then you set the well, you set where your keyframes are going to be. I made a folder good where I put in this image already. But I'm also going to include all the images I made, including some of the XEF files for GIMP to actually draw some of these. And so the start frames you're not really going to use in EVSynth, so if you're just going to purely make these, you can delete 200 megabytes. But essentially you fill up this good folder with edited frames from here. So you draw over them or you do style transfer, and NMKD style transfer works really well for this. Um, it's just a nice wrapper so you can just do it immediately. But you can do whatever you want. You can draw over these. And then you want to have this folder set with the correct extension and the actual correct start frame. So this is starting at 59 because it starts at black frames initially. Like if you see in this fusion file, zoom in, it has these black frames initially that I cut off. But we were going to make this scene right here all with a single click. So we already have EVSynth up. But it's essentially going to use, you see in here, the video, which is these frames right here, which is just the pure frames of the film. We set the start frame, the stop frame, the key frame. And then I already set these to match, the, match a pretty good weight where it's not going to look like butter on you. And then you set your keyframes to be this good folder. So since I already have one in 64, and if you look in here, this is where all of the out files are. And these are fed, fed directly into here, which make this whole animation. If I look into them, you can see that they have all these artifacts, and I clean them up within EVSense, well, not within EVSense, within DaVinci as a fusion clip. See, but that's, it's pretty simple to do. You just use a mask paint. But for this specifically, I can show you how to make that. So, since we already have Out59 already, which is the start frame, I'm going to rename this as test out and then so this is on use GPU if you don't have a GPU turn that off and you just run synth you can synth them all at the same time so a single click can get you 20 keyframes at once and then once this kits kicks up it only takes a little while yeah it's already starting and then test outs right here 
it'll start spewing out frames. And it's as simple as that. A single click can get you all your key, can extend a keyframe up to like, I think around 50 is the most I've done on this. But I bet you could go further if you chose the correct one. Joel Haver only used around 20. But since it's a style transfer, this can you can extend it to well into like 80 key well 80 frames from a single keyframe. But but these are the ones that are come with. You're gonna get the base frames, the ones that you can edit that are already labeled in all of these EVs and files. So you can just click run all on all these once you edit 100. 29 frames the actual frames of the thing it's been cleaned up but it's still a JPEG so it's not like you can use it for anything else it just has motion on it it might not even need color technically but since we have these PNGs and then I'm gonna give you the actual keyframes I made for this and you can make it yourself these EVSynth files won't be included. You just go to the EVSynth website and download them. And then the only thing you really have to do is change the project directory. And everything else should be there for you once you edit these base frames. So it's as simple as that. And you can literally, if I show this, literally drag them. literally just drag this video into DaVinci and it'll put it in automatically. So this is very simple to do and like this would if you have a good GPU maybe 30 minutes of render time so most of the time it's just making these keyframes I mean it is that simple really um, I hope you can make your own sort of EVSynth based style transfers. I'm a big fan of them and I hope more people actually work with them. So if you want to make your own templates, it's simple as just dragging your start frames in and then setting the keyframes so all the files will have each name based off the first frame of each scene rather than the random frame that you chose as your style frame. And so that creates nice um, file output names for all the folders. And this is all done automatically with the EVSynth beta. So, I mean, that's really it. I mean, it, you just drag the files into here once you're done with that.